All right, for months we've seen hundreds of anti-Israeli protests breaking out literally across the country, from blockading city streets and airports, many encampments on America's college campuses. And while there have been counter-protests in support of Israel and the hostages, which we cannot forget, that are still in Gaza, there have been few and far between by comparison. Certainly. But today at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, Jewish Community Relations Council is making a loud statement. They're going to be hosting the 59th Israel Day on Fifth Parade. Now, that it will be right here in New York City. The parade is expected to draw more than 40,000 participants, including Israeli dignitaries, celebrities and some of the hostages' families as well. Our next guest will also be attending the parade. So let's bring in the National President of the Zionist Organizations of America, Morton Klein. Uh, Morton, thank you so much for joining us today. For Jewish and non-Jewish people who support Israel and the hostages, we've seen the protesters try and intimidate them. We've seen this massive, clear rise in anti-Semitism across the country, uh, friends and families being physically and verbally attacked. Myself and my partner were one of those. How do you uh, feel and, like, how does it make you feel when you think about how important this parade is to your community? It is critically important at a time <clears throat> we have these pro Hamas Nazis supporting murder and rape and torture to never let them intimidate people from not demonstrating support for the humanitarian loving democratic state of Israel. If we allow these people to stop activities of American citizens, legitimate activities, it's the day we become a third world country in a banana republic. So it is very important to go out there and we should uh, the police must crush these people. They must uh, arrest these people. They must make it very difficult for them to, to promote their outrageous propaganda lies against the Jewish state. You know, their lies remind me of the propaganda lies against Jews in the Middle Ages. Where in the Middle Ages, people said Jews were killing Christian children for their blood to make matzah. They said Jews were poisoning the wells to kill uh, uh, in people in Europe. And now today we have to propaganda lies that Israel is committing genocide against the Arabs, this insane lie. Uh, Israel has shown that they that civilians, it's the lowest ratio of civilians killed to combatants in the history of warfare. It is unbelievable how minimal the, the deaths are of civilians. And also this free, free Palestine, Gaza was completely free. There were no Jews there, no IDF there. Hamas controlled Gaza completely, totally free. So this is another lie. And from the river to the sea means that Israel shouldn't exist. It should be destroyed. They're not calling for the Iran oppressive state of Iran to be uh, destroyed or Russia or China, communist oppressive country to be destroyed or Syria, who murdered 600,000 Iranian civilians to be destroyed. Only the Jewish state. This is pure anti-Semitism. And I'll tell you, it's more. It's also a, an extraordinary attack on the United States of America. We Americans must push back hard with all of our strength and, and use uh, our police forces to not allow them to intimidate citizens from right. uh, doing their lawful activities. Yeah, I just want to add one thing. They also deny that there were any rapes or killing of children and babies on October 7th. <laughs> all lies, all propaganda. But, Morton, let me ask you this, because I, I know a lot of people want to show up to this. Some are afraid. And, and But here's what I would say. Yes, we've seen that a lot of the anti-Israel protesters have turned violent. We know that there could be some agitators out there, but I would say this, because I've worked with them, I know them, the NYPD is the best at what they do. I believe they will keep them safe. Um, but do you know of any credible threats against the parade today, or uh, are we going to be more than safe with the NYPD at the helm taking I've control? Ta I've talked to NYPD officials and political officials. They say there's no known threats. And in addition, there's going to be a twice as many uh, NYPD officers at this rally as there were last year. So they'll be, they'll be in full force to allow Americans uh, to legally uh, show their love for our greatest ally, the Jewish state of Israel. Morton, there has been, we know there's been so many um, anti-Israel uh, protests that have been happening. And there are, as we mentioned in the start, there has been plenty of protests in support of Israel, though. But it seems to be that the pro-Israel camp is the silent majority. 
and this this is how I feel being part of that. I'm not so silent about it, um, but. It just it seems to be that the is people who are in support of Israel um, don't seem to cause trouble on the streets, and they do back off and rather not n not get involved in any of these conflicts and any sort of areas of contention. Do you feel that they're just being drowned out by these pro uh, pro these pro Palestine supporters, or is is the voice still being heard? <laughs> No, I'm afraid <clears throat> that Jewish leaders, even some Israeli officials, are not pushing back publicly against the lies. They're not making it clear that Gaza was completely free, that even <clears throat> the Palestinian Authority runs completely their own lies. There's no occupation except security. They're not publicly making it clear uh, that there's no genocide and, 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 and that Israel has as much a right, more of a right to exist than Iran or China or Russia or Syria. Mm -hmm. But I blame, to some extent as well, President Joe Biden. Where is he screaming out against these lies, these propaganda lies, this endangering of Jewish people and supporters of Israel uh, uh, in, in, in this country? He's been silent. President Biden is no friend of Israel. He has given Iran $26 billion of our money. He has uh, also ignored sanctions, allowing Iran to gain 50 to 100 billion more. This money Iran has used to fund Hamas and Hezbollah without our funding uh, Iran. Right. The, this wouldn't have happened on October 7th. I blame jo uh, President Joe Biden uh, and Blinken and his associates for what has happened on October 7th. He is no friend. And now he has a terrible proposal where he wants Hamas to survive. He wants Israel to completely leave Gaza with no buffer right. zone. And he wants 50 terrorists be released for every hostage that's released. He wants 6,000 terrorists to be released from yeah, prison. It sounds like this a total, is Biden's plan. Sounds like a total negotiation with terrorists, something <laughs> our country shouldn't be doing. He also never mentions the hostages, even the American hostages, as the American president. But Five we, unfortunately, Morton, we have to leave it there. Morton <laughs> Klein, thank you very much for your input. Great insight. And uh, we'll be watching uh, the parade as well. So God bless. Thank you.